Michigan exports more sportsmen, more outdoor families to more places than anywhere else in the world. Number one in exporting sportsmen to go hunt and fish in other places. So of course we like to feature that and show them a nice place to go, good people to work with. Welcome to Buy Local Michigan, where we're promoting Michigan businesses, communities, and its people. Hi, I'm Dwayne from DW Video and Multimedia, and I had to drag this guest out of the woods to get him here today. I'd like to introduce you to Kyle Randall from Wilderness Journal. How are you doing, Dwayne? Welcome. Tell me, how did you get your show started? And being Michigan-based, tell me a little bit about it. Well, I blame everything on a guy named Aubrey Gale. And to make it real short, he wanted to have a television show. He submitted a pilot with another individual. The folks at Fox Sports at that time turned it down, told him one of the things you need is a host. He came, got me, said, would you host a pilot for us? I said, sure, I don't know anything about it, so of course I can do it. Um, I did that. Their show didn't survive, unfortunately. A year later, I was contacted and said, would you make a show? We saw this pilot somewhere. I have no idea where they saw it. Um, and quite frankly, that drug me backwards into it. Uh, we wound up being on public television because, quite frankly, I'm not a big fan of commercials. I love to be able to tell a story, and I think the viewers like it, too. Okay. At least 18 years' worth. Tell me the format. For those that have never seen your show, tell us a little bit about the format of your show and the audience that you're it's after. It's really simple. We make an outdoor show. We make it outdoors. It's a hunting and fishing show, and we have, let's see, oh yeah, hunting and fishing in it. That's <laughs> it. That's all that's ever been in it. All right. And very family-friendly. Oh, yes, it, because the outdoors is the world's most level playing field. You know, the deer, the fish, they don't care if you're a little pigtailed girl or a big burly manly man. They don't care. So anyone can go out. Everyone should go out and enjoy it, and that's what we stress. Did you have any idea that you'd be hitting the audience that you're hitting today? We were talking a little bit about off-camera. No, you can't, you can't plan to succeed. You can just work really hard not to fail in television, especially because ultimately it's up to the audience. But for us, we thought we would be a regional program on one or two public television channels. That was almost 18 years ago. And now we air to over 2 million people a week all over the Midwest, the South, the West. There's no way you can know that it would be this. I never dreamed it would be. It has become its own entity. It's a monster out there living and breathing. And we're very thankful for that. But no, you, you can't know that. It's a job that you like to get up in the morning and, and do. And I know that at times you're, you're, you're kind of maybe a little overwhelmed, but tell me, you travel all over North America? Oh, yes. We've been as far as Africa, Australia, but 98% of what we do is in North America, Canada, and the States. And it's about 50 to 60,000 miles a year. Uh, of course, we like to feature hunts and, and all sorts of fishing trips and things from Michigan. But when you're on 52 weeks a year and you're making 30 new shows, unless you want to watch a lot of butterfly houses and fish ladder stories, you need to be out there in the world. Plus, Michigan exports more sportsmen, more outdoor families to more places than anywhere else in the world. Number one in exporting sportsmen to go hunt and fish in other places. So, of course, we like to feature that and show them a nice place to go, good people to work with. Well, tell us, how can we get in touch with you? Maybe not your personal home number, but, you know. <laughs> Stop me at Walmart or up at Trigger Time is a great way, but uh, if you can't do that, go to wildernessjournal.com. If you can remember the show, you can remember the website. And uh, there's all sorts of links on there. There's a Facebook page. We have all the modernized uh, um, digital media that's out there for everybody. We just have younger, smarter people running it than me. <laughs> well. Thank you for showing up today. And on behalf of uh, Buying Local in Michigan, I'm Dwayne from DW Video and Multimedia. Tune in again. Thank All you. right, thank you.